we have any mental skills which are uniquely our own? A key clue comes from a new experiment. Back at the University of Texas, Victoria Horner shows a chimp how to operate a puzzle box to get a treat. First, she taps. Then, she slots. Next, she pokes. The chimp copies fairly well and gets the sweet. This game we're going to play is about this special box I brought, all right? There's a gummy bear. It's your turn. Children copy the actions much as the chimps did. that the tapping and poking don't achieve a thing. The box has a false ceiling. The chimps cut to the chase. They skip the needless steps. For the apes, it is all about the treat. What this study shows is that apes don't just mindlessly ape. They also understand something more about cause and effect. Slavishly. The root of the children's behavior is the fact that they view me as a grown-up, possibly as a teacher. That children expect to be taught is a vital difference. While apes can copy, most researchers believe that they do not teach each other. This is Lake Victoria in Uganda. And this is researcher Victoria Horner. She's developed a simple but brilliant experiment that could explain how we came to be the most successful species on the planet. Strangely, it's because there are some tasks we do worse than chimpanzees. We present both chimpanzees and children with this box. This is the, the black box. And it's completely opaque. You can't see the inside of the box. You can't see how it works at all. And inside this, there is a food reward for chimpanzees, or for human children, there's a little sticker. Horner demonstrates the long sequence of action Jessica must use to get the reward. She reloads the box. It's now Jessica's turn to show she's learned what she's seen.
she successfully picks up the complicated sequence of actions and gets her reward. Next, Horner and her boxes make the 15-minute journey to nearby Ngamba Island. Horner demonstrates the movements to Billy. Now, it's Billy's turn. Will she copy the actions? Just like Jessica, the chimpanzee copies the actions and gets her reward. But Homer has just been toying with both ape and child. This experiment is not about how apes learn, it's about understanding how humans learn. Back at the school, she swaps the boxes. We then present them with what we call the clear box. And this one is structurally identical to the black box, but this time all of the, the walls of the box are made of see-through material. And actually there's a false ceiling which runs right around the top here, so that all the actions to the top are irrelevant. They're pretend nonsense actions. And the sticker for the food reward is actually located in this tube at the front. Jessica can now see that poking the stick in the top is pointless, and yet... The only action she needs to do is the last one. But for some reason, Jessica sticks faithfully to what she's learned. Even though she can see that the first actions are unnecessary, she carefully repeats them. Finally, she gets the reward. It's not just Jessica. Horner has tested children around the world, and they all copy her actions. Not one of them takes the shortcut. What we found was actually rather surprising. We found that the children copied everything that I did, no matter whether they had the black box or the see box. So what will Billy do? She goes straight for the sweet. This isn't unusual. In trials with a dozen chimpanzees, Horner has found that two times out of three, chimpanzees take the shortcut. It's a start towards explaining why humans and apes are so different. Imitation and copying accurately is a huge part of our development as humans. It's how we learn language, it's how we learn to interact with objects and acquire cultural behaviours and lots of the complex things that we do as humans. Um, and it's a little as if it's a sort of default for us to copy